What's going on, you guys? I am here in beautiful Orlando, Florida, if the camera wants to focus. It's so much warmer here than Canada in our hotel here, chilling. Um, I know usually I do a random subscriber shout out. Uh, I'm gonna just do that whenever I get back home just because it's a lot to try and like get onto the videos and stuff. But I'll just do it whenever I get home. Uh, just it's easier that way. But anyways, today I'm doing my Survivor Survivor Series, WrestleMania 33 predictions. Jeez, I cannot talk today. Uh, a bit jet lag, jeez. Anyways, uh, it's an alright card. It could have been better, but uh, it's pretty good. First off, on the kickoff, we have the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal. Everybody's been announced. You could pause right there if you want to see who all the people are. Pretty much a bunch of nobodies, and then like Braun Strowman, Dolph Ziggler, Sami Zayn, and maybe Kalisto. But I got Braun Strowman in this match. Uh, just makes the most sense. He's getting a monster push. So I've got Braun Strowman winning the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal on Sunday. Next up on the kickoff, and it really shouldn't be on the kickoff, we have Neville defending the Cruiserweight Championship against Austin Aries. And I have Austin Aries to win because he's the greatest man that ever lived and he's the hottest thing going in the division right now. As much as Neville deserves to retain, but I've got Austin Aries. Next up for the SmackDown Women's title, again on the kickoff show, Alexa Bliss uh, doing the, her whole, whole thing where uh, it's any women's wrestlers who are available to compete. Uh, she's defending against the people that we know are Mickey James, Carmella, Natalia, Becky Lynch, and Naomi. Uh, could be some other people. I've heard Kelly Kelly and Eve being thrown around. But I've got probably Naomi to win it. It's her hometown. It's her comeback. It makes the most sense. So I've got Naomi winning the Women's Championship on SmackDown. Next up, we have Shane McMahon versus AJ Styles. And I'm hoping Shane is going to jump off of that whole roller coaster set that they're building. Uh, but I think AJ's going to win because he needs it more. Next, we have John Cena and Nikki Bella versus The Miz and Maurice. I've got John Cena and Nikki Bella. Apparently, it's Nikki's last match, so it makes the most sense. But I want Miz and Maurice to win. We've got Roman versus The Undertaker. I want Undertaker to win, but I'm going to go with Roman Reigns. Hopefully he turns heel. He probably won't. We have a non-sanctioned match between Triple H and Seth Rollins. That should be pretty awesome. Uh, I'm going to go with Seth Rollins. He's the younger talent. It makes more sense that Triple H would put him over. But you never know with Triple H. But I'm going to go with Seth Rollins. Uh, I'm not even sure how this is going to work, if there's just no referee or if it's like no disqualifications, but yeah, I've got Seth Rollins. Next for the Raw Tag Team titles, in what we now know is a triple threat ladder match. Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson, the club, defending against Enzo and Cass and Cesaro and Sheamus. I have got the club going over, or not the club, sorry. I think it's either going to be the club or Enzo and Cass, and I'm leaning more towards Enzo and Cass, because... It just seems like they're behind Enzo and Cass the most. So I'll go with them, but I wouldn't be surprised if the club retains. For the Intercontinental title, Dean Ambrose against Baron Corbin. I was hoping it'd be a hardcore match, but I guess it's not. So I've got Baron Corbin probably going to win. They seem to be pushing him, so Baron Corbin. Next up, a fatal four-way match for the Raw Women's Championship. Fatal four-way elimination. Bailey, Charlotte Flair, Nia Jax, Sasha Banks. I have got to go with Sasha Banks. I think she's going to turn heel on Bailey and win the match. We've got the match that I'm looking most forward to. Chris Jericho and Kevin Owens for the United States Championship. Two of my favorite wrestlers. I got to go with Kevin Owens. Um, Chris Jericho is going to go on tour with his band soon, so I think it makes more sense to put the title on Owens. Owens will be sticking around for a while. And we have the WWE Championship match, Bray Wyatt versus Randy Orton. I think Bray Wyatt should win this match, and I think he will. He deserves the WrestleMania moment. Let him have it. Let him have it. Bray Wyatt wins. My pick. And finally, the one that everyone is looking forward to, Brock Lesnar and Goldberg for the Universal Championship. I've got Brock Lesnar. He's probably going to win, and then Goldberg's going to retire, hopefully, and go in the Hall of Fame. Uh, here, I'm just not a big fan of him to be honest, but that's just me. So I think Lesnar's gonna win. Probably gonna move into a feud with someone like Roman Reigns or Finn Balor. But that's what I've got. Let me know your predictions down below in the comments. Also, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe. And stay tuned for all my WrestleMania content to come. And I will see you guys in the next 
video. Bye for now.